Okay, today we're going to be going over how to install butyl tape and also vapor barrier. Okay, so here's your sill plate. Here's the block. Most of the time the sill plate is the only pressure treated piece of wood in the crawl space. So what you want to do is you want to look at the termite gap because that is a major factor in the crawl space. You've got to install the vapor barrier or the plastic or the vapor retarder three inches below the sill plate in order to leave a gap so that Mr. or Mrs. Termite person can come in and look around to make sure there's no termite tunnels uh, coming from behind the vapor barrier up into the sill plate which eventually leads into the house. So what I'm going to show you is how to install a vapor barrier or a vapor retarder uh, so that you don't have, uh, so that you do have that three inch gap. Here's our one inch butyl tape and here is our two inch butyl tape and we're going to do a demonstration for both. Okay, so before actually getting started, what you have to do is prepare the cinder block for the butyl tape. Okay, so you want to take your little scrub brush and you want to knock off all the loose uh, pieces so that you are getting good adhesion, all right? Even if this is brand new cinder block, um, it's still gonna need some, some things knocked off of it. Now you can go crazy if you want to and get it super clean, but just knock the loose stuff off so that it allows the butyl tape to um, adhere better. The next thing you wanna do is obviously measure your three inch line, okay? And remember, it's three inches from here. We're going to measure our three inches and then uh, use our chalk line here to make sure that we stay just below that three inches with the butyl tape. It can be lower than three inches, three inches, it just cannot be higher. So it's okay to go lower, you just can't go any higher. You gotta leave a three inch gap here. So that looks pretty good. We're going to stretch this across. Now keep in mind that if you do the chalk line first and then you decide to do this, you're going to remove your chalk line. So make sure you do the chalk line after you brush off the concrete because I'd hate for you to brush off or do the chalk line and then have to go brush off all that concrete and then you got to do the chalk line over, all over again. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is now one real quick. You, you got to be careful because this is adhesive on one side and then you take the tape off on the other. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. So you gotta make sure that you get it just below the sill plate with the adhesive still on. And this can be difficult to do with one hand. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this is done, okay. So you want to take that and you get it, get it on there. And then you take your little roller, get all the air bubbles out. Now the nice thing about the two inch is that it actually has two sides of tape. So if you want, you can pre-cut it. See, there's tape on both sides. So if you want to pre-cut it, you can do that. So that is a nice feature of the two-sided tape. You can even lay it down, you can drop it, you can do whatever you need to do. It even has obviously the way to put it back. So that is pretty cool that you have the ability to do that. So here we are, we have our two inch. You can see the difference in size here. All right, and the nice thing about it is, is I can kind of mess around with it and I haven't lost my adhesion. Like I said, you want it just below the line so that way you don't have to worry about, and this is some sticky, sticky stuff. Both of them are very sticky, okay? Get the air bubbles out. One of the great things about using butyl tape, no matter if it's one inch or two inch, is that if you're trying to accomplish the encapsulation of the crawl space on your own, this gives you a great way to have some extra help. It'll hold the plastic up for you while you put in the Christmas tree fasteners, or maybe you wanna use a ram set or a Hilti nail or something like that. So I'm gonna go into all that too, but I wanted to show you how the butyl tape is applied. As you can see, we got the three inch gap. 
So we're going to peel this off and put some vapor barrier on it. But like I said, you want to make sure you have the three inch gap. This will give you a bit and you just run your finger along it. All right, just to knock off and you can see it's being held up totally by itself now. Um, so then you just go through, if you want to give it a little bit more compression, you can do this. Um, one of the things that I wanted to show you a picture of right here is that this is a crawl space where the, all they used was the butyl tape to hold up the plastic vapor barrier. The other thing, you notice this vapor barrier is also um, has the uh, reinforcement in it. And this crawl space, we were called to go out and put in a dehumidifier. We didn't install uh, the vapor retarder. The homeowner did this on his own. He bought it from a, a website. And uh, you can see all the reinforcement. It's a six mil reinforced vapor barrier. The crawl space stunk so bad from the only thing I know how to describe it as a cat urine smell. So, but I wanted to show you this picture because this shows you uh, what the uh, vapor retarder would look like using just the butyl tape. I encourage people to use a Christmas tree fastener, which is like this, and we sell these by the 100 and by the 500s, and it tells you uh, drill a quarter inch hole, and these Christmas tree fasteners just go right in through the uh, butyl tape, the vapor barrier, but you see you got a lot more forgiveness on this side because it's a bigger area, a bigger surface area. So, so now we're going to drill, pre-drill our holes and put the Christmas tree fasteners. So when you start to drill the holes, you wanna make sure you have a hammer drill here and put a Christmas tree fastener. You should put them about every 16 inches. There she is. Thank you.